just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyreek. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Hello everyone, it is Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I am home from church and I am about to start painting on the desk that I got from, well I'm gonna use it as a buffet table. Well it is a buffet table. I'm gonna start painting on the buffet table that I got from Hobby Lobby. Remember my $20 find? I call it a steal because hey, you where can you get a $200 item for 20 bucks? other than Hobby Lobby. Anyway, yeah, I've actually painted two coats. I don't think I'm gonna paint any more coats on it, but I do need to paint the end of the legs, the end of the legs, the bottom of the legs, because it's standing up. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, you guys see at the bottom right there, I need to flip it over and paint that. Here is what it looks like right now, and I know it's not perfect, but I want that look. I want the look of it not being perfect, not being, you know, completely done all the way. This is two coats. I don't want to do another one because I want to keep that whole rustic farmhouse with a twist of Michelle <laughs> type thing going on. And I think the twist of Michelle is coming out a whole lot more. And look at these lamps, you guys. I'm going to put it on the buffet table. I got these both on Facebook Marketplace for $20. Yes, I would pick it up from the lady. She was so nice enough to put brand new bulbs in there. And so I'm like, you didn't have to do that. So yeah, and they match perfectly in here. And also, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but this is going to stay right there. I'm gonna hang it on the wall. Um, I found this at Hobby Lobby also when they were having the sale. The original price was $69.99 and I got it for $17, actually $18. So yes, I'm gonna put that up in a minute. I'm gonna finish painting that and then I will show you guys what that looks like when I get it up there. Okay, so I just flipped this upside down and I'm going to paint the second coat once the first coat dries. I hung this up here. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys that I bought this. Of course, I've seen a lot of these design ideas on Pinterest, so I liked it. And I got this at Hobby Lobby also. I think it was five bucks. It was 10, but then I got half off five bucks. So I just put it up there and I hung it right there. So the idea for this corner, and thank you guys for giving me your feedback on what I should do here. I think I am going to, it's out of two choices, get one of those things, ladder things that you can put pictures on. Thank you, Edna, for that idea. Or I am going to get like a chair here, like an accent chair that just sits here that just looks pretty. And that's basically it. So I hung this up there and unfortunately I did have to, um, cause this thing is pretty heavy, put it up with nails. I usually don't like doing that, but I didn't have enough command strips. And I was only able to find one stud in here, one. So this one is just in the wall, but I do have some command strips at the bottom to try to, you know, keep it up. So yeah, that's that. You guys, I'm so happy how everything is turning out. You guys are probably tired of hearing me talk about all this home improvement, my dining room, this, and at first it was like my bedroom, then the bathroom and stuff like that. But this is what makes me happy, you guys. And if you can turn an area into something that really looks nice, then why not? Oh, and what I wanted to tell you guys, so when in my last video, when I showed you guys this, this swag right here on the video, it looked like it was peach. I guarantee you it's not peach. I don't know why it's coming out peach looking on the camera, but it is cream. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out in case you guys were thinking, why in the world did she throw a peach swag up there? So yeah, you guys, um, slowly but surely, and still don't know what to do with those pictures back there. Y'all wanna let me know. <laughs> and this is just the um, 
keyboard and the amp that Tyreek takes every Sunday to church. And once we do get a table here, we'll just find another place to put that. I'm not too worried about that. So yeah. So you guys, I am watching the last season of Orange is the New Black. It's kind of sad because I could actually blow through a season in a weekend. I'm trying not to do that this time because I know this is the last season ever, but it's kind of hard because it's always so good. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm on episode four. I didn't watch it the day it came out because I'm like, no, let me just, let me just reel it back a little bit and slow down. So we'll see you guys. Okay, you guys, are you ready to see this setup that I have? I'm not showing you me because I'm not fully dressed right now, but I want you guys to see this little thing I have going here. I think it's super cute. Okay, you ready? You ready? I'm so excited. Look at this. Oh my goodness, you guys. This looks so good. And I wanna get directly in front of it, but like I said, I'm not fully dressed. But remember the mirror that I got from Hobby Lobby and um, I painted it, but I didn't show you guys after I painted it. Well, this is it. <laughs> and look, it's so cute. And I already had this base, but I did buy these from Hobby Lobby. They were like three bucks each, um, these flowers right here. And then I had eucalyptus and I just put it in there. I'm gonna zhuzh it up, <laughs> make it a little bit better. But look, you guys, oh my goodness. I am so happy with how this has turned out. Look at this. Let me turn on more light. If that makes it any better. Oh my goodness. I don't think I need anything up there because you guys know I'm the queen of do too much. And my kids always tell me that. Do too much decorating, just do too much in general. So I think I'm going to leave it like this, but I'm gonna fix the eucalyptus in there and make it look a little bit better. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is turning out way better than I expected. Okay, so you guys, <laughs> yes, I am weird, but I have not thrown away this price tag. For some reason, right now, I have to keep it because I can't believe I got this $200 buffet table for 20 bucks. So until I feel the need to throw it away, that's where it's going to be in that drawer. I know I'm weird. I'm so sorry, you guys. I just keep looking at this. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. I am so happy the way it turned out. And that's Cheyenne's room, ignore the door. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm just so happy the way things are turning out, you guys. I am loving this. So somebody's getting a bath and apparently he does really well. Good morning everyone. So it is Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. I am getting ready for church and I go through this every day. Here's the dilemma of picking what scent I'm going to wear. Yeah, um, yeah, my life is boring. So this is my big thing in the morning. You guys know I have so many Bath and Body Works scents and I even have a few Victoria's Secrets in here. So as you guys have seen many times before, here is my perfume collection so I have so many scents in here look at the bottom the ones that has the shimmer in it like the glitter it settles to the bottom because I don't wear them often enough and let's see see that I don't wear them often enough, so I have to shake it up so the glitter or whatever it is, the shimmer, could disperse. So, you guys, here's the thing. So what I'm going to do, what I have decided to do, is I am not, I am not buying any more Victoria's Secret perfumes or um, Bath and Body Works. I'm not until I completely use most of everything that's here. If you guys find me buying something, call me out on it because I don't need it but that doesn't go for my perfumes like when i run out of obsession or what do i have down there that i really love ed hardy perry ellis 360 um my pink perfume my selena gomez the glass perfumes the heavier ones that i really like a lot it doesn't count for that i mean the body sprays all that from bath and body works 
I am not buying any more until I use this up. I have so much and there's no reason to continue buying <laughs> and I have it there. I mean, that's the reason why I don't go in them anymore right now is because I know I'll smell something new. Oh, this is so good. And they're having a sale. Let me get this. So yeah, you guys, if I'm vlogging and y'all see me in the store and if I put it on video that I'm buying stuff from Bath and Body Works, call me out on it. Tell me, girl, you do not need that. Take it back. So this is the one I'm actually going to wear today. Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss. And as you can see, I have the body lotion and I have the gel lotion and I have the perfume for it. So yeah, this is pretty bad, you guys. I need to start using my perfumes and you can tell the ones that I use a lot. Like this is called Love and Sunshine. My kids got this for me, I think for my birthday or Christmas last year or something like that. So that's used often. The pear berry and then I think I have something in here called Peach Bellini and Georgia Peach. Yes, I use those often. Oh my God, this smells amazing. Blue Bally, no, <laughs> Bally Blue Surf. It, to me, it smells like clean linen and other stuff. Um, yeah, so you guys can see which ones I use a lot and then which ones I don't use a lot. Even though I like them, I just don't use them a lot, even though they smell really good. All right, oh, oh, this is almost gone. Y'all, this smells amazing, but no. Can't get any more till all these are at least done, or at least, you know, I'm working on being done. <laughs> so as you can see, look where we are. They should know us by name as often as we come here. Woo, so we have made it home. We went to Walmart and Ikea and, where we go? Cold Stone. And I got two more ponytails for my hair. So went to the hair shop. And I'm so excited because I got the rug that I have been wanting for like months from Ikea. But I'm kind of sad because two weeks ago, no, just last week, I take that back, it was $140. This week it went back up to regular price. But I'm going to keep an eye on it because with Ikea, if you have things up to a year with your receipt or something like that, you can return it. So if it actually goes on sale, I am going to take my receipt and get the difference. I'm so mad. Anyway, um, so yeah, I have that and I will show you guys that later. And I got some packages. I got a package from Amazon and my kids were like, so you're buying stuff for a coffee table that you don't have yet. Yes, I am because Amazon, this is how they get you. So when you get ready to order something or when you're looking at something, It'll say 20 left, hurry, buy these while supplies last. That's not their words, but you know, something like that. So I slowly seen it counting down. And one thing that I got, it says two left, hurry and buy it or something like that. And I panicked, I'm like, let me just get it now because y'all, on Amazon, you can make like a wish list and put everything that you want on that list. I still have things on that list from like 2015 that went out of stock and it said we do not know when or if we're going to get this item again but i still have it in there because i'm like well maybe one of these days it may come back doubt it but you never know so that's the reason why i'm buying items for a coffee table that i don't have yet not a coffee table a dining room dining room table and i think i don't think i'm gonna get the one that i really want i mean with tax and all, it'll be like 2500 But I'm like, do I really want to spend that money on a table? So I've seen something that I think I'm going to get instead. So, yeah, I'll do that. But now, to open up my package from Amazon. Alright, you guys. So, I ordered this off of Amazon. And this is, it's called French Script. And I know my <laughs> dining room is supposed to be rustic slash farmhouse but like i think i told you guys before the twist of michelle is like overpowering it so i'm still gonna have touches of rustic i mean would this be kind of rustic or farmhouse i don't know anyway so yeah i have that on here and i bought another one for the dining room table that i don't have yet so yeah that's there right now and i also have some books that I'm going to have here um, 
it should be here tomorrow and then I can show you guys and it's kind of farmhouse you know when I get it I'll let you guys know and I'm actually going to lay the rug out so I was gonna show you guys everything I got for my dining room table because I did get some placemats some chargers um, you know the plates that just stay for decoration and napkin holders and what else um, hold on I'm going to my room I was gonna show you guys what I got but I'm going to wait until I have it all on the table that I don't have yet because you guys are gonna be like this is not farmhouse this is not rustic but you know what it's gonna come together hey Boston it's gonna come together trust me so yeah I'll just wait to do a reveal when I have the table when everything's done and then I, I will show you guys then what I got but I will show you the rug but I gotta go lay it out right now so I swept and I mopped the area waiting for the floor to dry but I'm contemplating whether I should put the rug out because I don't have you know that grip stuff or that tape that you put down to keep the rug from slipping and yeah technically a dining room table would be over it but I don't know I thought I had some in my room and I looked and I couldn't find any we were right at Walmart too so I don't know if I'm gonna put it out tonight we'll see you guys so curiosity one over I laid the rug out I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it when the table gets here um, maybe I should turn it the other way let me show you guys and I know this color it's it's cream beige whatever you want to call it and may let me let me just show you guys so here's the rug and when I'm looking on it through the camera, it looks beige, but it's cream. I guarantee you, it goes with everything. Ignore that, that's not gonna stay there. I just, like I always say when I see that, I don't know where else to put that. Anyway, um, yeah, and see right here how the rug is coming up. I need that tape stuff so we won't trip on it. And I'm just trying to walk on it now to lay it flat. But maybe I will turn it this way. But then does that mean instead of having the table go long ways, it needs to go horizontal? I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so now that I put it this way, it looks better, but then that means I'd have to put my table this way and put the, you know, the ends of the table on that side. But then we would have to come all the way around on either side to get into the dining room. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Think I should leave it like this or turn it back this way and keep my table this way when I get my table, you know, the table that I don't have yet that I keep talking about. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I did find something rustic. This was in my room when I was looking for the tape to go on the carpet. I brought it in here. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but until then, I'll just keep it in here. Hello everyone, it is Monday. Yes, I'm home. The girls and I are about to go see Lion King. Y'all like my hair? Y'all go see me with different hair like almost every other day. I have like four different ponytails now, from curly to straight. So yes, we are going to go see Lion King and then I don't know what else. We are at Delta Shore. We are about to go into the movie to see Lion King. So we are in Koshi. Is it called Koshi? Yeah. Yeah. It's a noodle bar, a noodle house, a noodle place in Delta Shore. We just ordered and it's just me and the girls. Lion King was amazing. Other than Beyonce. Um, playing the part yeah Beyonce kind of did too much but anyway I did like it and we're gonna go see Aladdin and Savannah she's beautiful look at her hair you guys she took her braids down doesn't she look older oh my goodness Savannah I'm trying to show you how beautiful you are you want to say hi Cheyenne Cheyenne okay can you just say hi can you wave so they can see your hand okay y'all know how she is sometimes <laughs> This is what I got, a shrimp ramen. Savannah got the same thing, and Tyra, Cheyenne's hasn't got here yet, or it's on the way. I want to eat the seaweed so bad. Yeah. Thank you so much. Is this cute? 
You got the same thing? Yeah, I just got oh, the egg. Shine got the same thing, but without egg, because you guys know she's allergic to eggs. Oh, I could have got that option. Okay. So we are back in the movie theater for round two. We are watching Aladdin. It's just me and the girls, and the theater is completely empty. We're way in the back, as you can see. No one yet. We're super early. We are super early eating snacks, lychee, jelly candy, and Savannah's playing on her phone, Shine's next to her. So we're just bored, waiting for Aladdin to start. We may be the only ones in this movie. No, there she's taking it there, wrong see. Um, we've been here a long time, just waiting. We came in to get in from the heat. Shine went to get something to drink. Savannah's playing with a chair, y'all see it moving? She gonna break it. Are you five? These seats go back further than any of the other theaters I've been to. Okay, you guys, we are at home now. Oh my goodness, Aladdin was so amazing. I cannot wait to buy it. Disney outdid themselves. I love The Lion King also, but Aladdin. Oh my goodness. And Savannah was up there singing all the songs or whatever. Y'all, I'm. if you guys have not seen Aladdin, I'm probably the only one that hadn't seen it because I'm late, whatever, but it was amazing. And The Lion King was really good, other than, like I said earlier, um, I'm not a fan of Beyonce, and if you're part of the Beehive, don't come for me. We can just agree to disagree. So other than that, <laughs> other than that, I thought um, The Lion King was good as well. So now, since we are in like this Disney mode or whatever, we're gonna continue with Disney for the night and watch Aladdin on the cartoon version and then Mary Poppins, which is on Netflix. So you guys, this is what happens when I was peep at the peep hole first before I open the door. So my son left to go to work and he bypassed all the water bottles, didn't even bring them in. So I went ahead and I left the rug right here, this way, but I pulled it out from the wall. Um, the measurements are different. I don't know if it's because it's a rug from Switzerland because I got it from Ikea. It's not eight by 10, it's like seven by nine and a quarter or something like that. So. I don't know if that's the reason why it doesn't look right long ways. Maybe if it was bigger, take up the whole space. I don't know. But anyway, for now, I'm going to leave it like this because it looks bigger. And I think I am going to push it a little bit further. So when I do get my non-existent table that I don't have right now, <laughs> I don't know why, guys. I just like saying that. I am going to try to put it this way um, because the rug is this way. So, yeah. I don't remember if I showed you guys this or not. I ordered this off of Macari. It says Home Sweet Home. And someone made it and it's just regular books. I'm sure I could have did this. And it just has like a wooden heart and beads. And I could have gotten this at Hobby Lobby and found a print to make this. So I actually could have bought this myself. But I ordered it from somebody on Macari. Um, and I put it there. So, yeah, you guys. Um, you guys are going to get tired of hearing about my dining room, but y'all know me. When I start on something, this is how it is. Mm -hmm. 